the fuck did you get this out? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> to be fair, Owen's mind is more like a child, really. I mean, to be fair, it, my yeah, friends are like that. Mind a child. You fucking dare, you fucking bitch, you fucking bitch, you fucking bitch! <laughs> God damn it! When life gets tough, and that's when they have a dick come in your face. <laughs> oh my god, that look on your face when you did it. Ladies, on your on your channel. I can get into trouble for that. <laughs> I can get that in trouble. I can get into trouble for that shit. Nice. I can get into trouble for that shit. <laughs> Too funny to bear, what the fuck? My it's life, just too fucking bad. My life, my life, that's for my eyes. <laughs> my this life, is what happens when you have two dickheads on the line. Need no flesh from my eyes, This shit is gonna go badly wrong. <laughs> that was actually pretty funny. Oh my god. That was fucking frightening. This man, I wish my fucking life. Oh my god. You look fucking terrified when he did that. Holy shit. Even by bloodshot. My god. Well, bloodshot. <laughs> what the fuck did you do to my cake? That's definitely not gonna be. Uh, what the hell did you do to my cake? I've done. Raza! Hey, I haven't had me training. <laughs> I've done meds training. I didn't do cake training. That was fucking terrifying. <laughs> what the hell did you do to my cake? That's just a perfectly cake and you just ruined it. Vitality! My birthday's ruined because of you! What the fuck did you do to this? <laughs> did you break it? My legs are too strong for me, oh good. I went to the gym today. Oh my god, it's Oh, did you? It. Oh, sweet. <laughs> it's broken the damn thing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, not the Kung Fu fighting again. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> Because of this dickhead. <laughs> I'll be there to ruin your next one. Shit! <laughs> Shit! <laughs> the fuck are you doing to my cake? I'm gonna see the moon. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, wow! What's in oh. here? What's going here? There's, there's men in the weed! Oh, I don't know. Men in the weed! What? The weed's in the weed! Oh, there's a Christmas tree sale. What's going on?
What a little bugger. Amazing. He's just, whoa. He just flew right past us. Where'd he go? What an amazing little animal. Where's a robin? <laughs> Where's a little robin? Ah, oh, where is he? Come and see a little guy. Ah, no, he's run off or flown off. That's I saw him, he was just there on the coal post. Just about there. Oh, he's flown off. Oh, bugger. That's a pain. But it's sweet. It's really sweet. By the way, a little update. Um, Thena's getting there, but she's still not the best. But um, she's getting there, nonetheless. So let's just hope that she uh, she gets better soon. Artemis, on the other hand, he's been a little little nasty with her, but I made sure who's boss. So I showed him that I was in charge, and I'm the one who looks after the fish. And Athena, hopefully, is still a matriarch, but we'll just have to see how she gets on. She's a bit slow, but. We have given them um, two treatments over the last three days. So every three days I give them um, treatment. So it's uh, this. So it's uh, a disease clearer. So it just basically helps um, the, uh, the fish to recover. It's done a bit of help, but um, we'll just have to see how she gets on. It's my fault that I put her in this position. Um, so I'm hoping to make it right and make sure that I can do better. So let's just hope that things get better soon. 15th episode, nearly done. Just need to, uh, you know, render it so I can get more of the episodes out as soon as possible. <laughs> Look at him running! Oh. Yeah, he runs like that. Yeah. It's too damn fine. You've got dangle berries, Where's your toilet? 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 Where's your toilet?
What's he up to? Hey, you two. How are you feeling today, Athena? Hey. How are you doing? You alright, buddy? You alright? What are you up to? You doing alright? How are you feeling, sweetheart? Oh, bless her. You're alright, aren't you, buddy? Hey. I was watching you for a minute there, mate. What up to? Are you sleeping and thinking about food? Is that what you were doing? Hey. What were you thinking? Oh, someone's coming over a bit quick. Fair play to you, sweetheart. Don't worry, something will get sorted soon. The tank's, I know it, the tank looked a bit full, but we'll get it. We'll get it cleaned up soon. Shall we? Won't we? We'll get it all done. I've got a few ideas. So don't worry, sweet. Mr. Artemis is looking out for her this time. Because he got a bit grumpy with her the other day. Either way, it's part of their behaviour to get a bit aggressive, but... At least she's not as bad as she was. She's getting there. Her tail's not as brilliant, and especially her body. But uh, she's swimming around a little bit more often. I mean, it's a huge improvement because, you know, like she used to sit there for a while. So, massive improvement. Absolutely massive. And she can see me, that's why. Are you hiding, Artemis? Is that why you were there? Oh, bless you. Oh. <laughs> Did you see me? I know. Oh. <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. It's only my phone. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's only my phone, mate. Oh, bless you. <laughs> I know. Oh, you darted around for some reason. What are you doing? You're darting around. You know. You know. Oh, you tired. You tired. <laughs> oh, bless you. They sit together now. And look 
path to each other. Bless. Let's just hope she gets a really good recovery. After I had to teach him to um, be mindful of that she's not well, but also she needs to be looked after. <laughs> I like how she sat in between the jellyfish. <laughs> oh, bless her. It's so amazing that he's actually following her. Oh, are you protecting her? Is that why? Are you protecting her? Oh, buddy, are you protecting her? It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> He's watching me, aren't you, buddy? Wow. Earlier on, it was all dark and seemed like it was going to rain. Crazy, man. Me and my big mouth. Oh, it's throwing it down. Oh my god! <laughs> it's just completely throwing it down. <laughs> it's going absolutely every. Oh my god! It's it's coming on me too. And I thought I, w I was going to be okay. I have to walk in h home in this. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> Look at it. It's just completely all sky blue. What the heck? <laughs> hey, Jacob. Hello. Well, here we go again. It just will not stop wanting to rain. Oh yeah, I've uh, been doing a lot of this uh, this week. So all this here is what we've been up to. Doesn't 
doesn't seem like it wants to end. Oh my god. Ew. Okay, that's throwing it down. Come on, take it quick. <laughs> oh, poor girl. You're right. You're all right. <laughs> Well, as expected, it's done it again. Right, sir. Uh... Well, as expected, it's doing it again. Those plants are in here. Well, out there, we're in here a little while ago, and they're technically, uh, I think there's either spring or summer plants, and since it's now getting warmer, it's doing that. But I have a feeling it could be a, a hurricane nearby. That's why we're getting so much rain. I mean, it's the raining season, I guess. Put my hoodie on. <laughs> hoodie, I should say. Wow. It's pretty crazy. I remember putting all these here. That was a long time ago. Oh, look at the rain coming down like that. It's just dripping everywhere. <laughs> Looks like it's uh, just about stopped raining. I'm going to be walking in this. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Really? Jeez. It doesn't look very nice. Throw it down again. This is why I hate rain. The winds are just unbearable. I bloody hate the rain as well. I'm home. Hello, you two. Hello. Hello, Athena. Artemis. <laughs> Hello, you two. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, bless you. You do know right. Oh, you look so excited this this afternoon. <laughs> Bless. Yellow Nap Squad, my name is Buckley, and today we're talking about Star Wars. I'll be May the 4th, Star Wars Day, and we got this dickhead with us. So, yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> It's 
You were talking about Republic Commander before. What do you know about Republic Commander? Uh, Republic Commando is um, is a very old game that I've known, of what we all know from our youth uh, when we were kids. But I don't. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, I remember the game uh, came out on the original Xbox and... Um, original then, Xbox? Mm. <laughs> long time ago. <laughs> That's how long ago it was. And uh, they came mm. to port it onto the PlayStation uh, for the first time. Mm. And um, I only played it once on the, on the PC, and uh, it's just a game about um, shooting, uh, pe shooting ass, people, yeah. kicking it's ass, like, yeah. it's like, it's like, or getting your ass kicked. Yeah, it's like it's uh, a kind of perspective of like a, just a regular soldier um, that just goes behind the scenes, like infiltration and all that. So it's just it, that's what I like about the game. It's just it's very more like that, if that makes sense. But it's, I just love the way I've done it. Like, I haven't played the game, I think, for three or four years. So, like, it's a long time ago. Uh, but I love the game. Mine was a long just... time ago, too. You want to know how long it's been since I've played it? No. I've never played it. A long time ago. <laughs> but it's on Steam, so you could give it a try. Is it kid friendly enough? It's very bloody, just warn you. <laughs> oh no, not kid friendly. There's no, there's no boobs or panties in that. Probably 16, I'll probably say it's 16, I would say. No boobs or panties, not kid friendly enough. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the story of the game? Uh, it's basically around uh, between the, um, the Attack of Clones and the, um, uh, the third film of uh, Revenge of the Sith. So it just basically represents uh, in between and um, mm -hmm. I haven't played all the, this, like the whole story but I know bits of it and um, it turns out um, basically going behind the enemy lines and um, the issue is that, that when mm -hmm. you're actually doing it on your own you don't have any Jedi with you, you just have, look, you just do it on your own. So you don't have any wizard Catholics with the glowing in the dark for you to deal with. <laughs> no, no, it's, it, well, it's more like, um, it's just more like uh, you just form a team and uh, you go out into battle mm -hmm. and um, you fight uh, out there and um, you really kick ass and then you've got the trans oceans and I think I think can pronounce it, but you've got the trans oceans and they're out there and then they try and do the slave race and they try and you know, uh, mm. slow out the uh, the Wookiees, and um, you have to stop them from all that. And, Talk about um, the Wookiees, I remember at the beginning of Star Wars Force Unleashed, you could play as Darth Vader and just, you infiltrated the Wookiees, lifted them with the Force, and you could kill all of them if you wanted to. That's really clever. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, you were Darth Vader, and you could actually use the Force and just lift them up and choke them or throw them away. That's cool. That's very really cool. Done with that if you did that and killed your own team as well because you start maybe you can do whatever you want. You got an achievement called a bad day on the job. <laughs> That's cool. Hmm. That's cool. But almost as cool as actually playing in VR and standing next to Darth Vader and knowing how short I am compared to him, but <laughs> it's almost that cool. <laughs> now one thing I love about these ga uh, this game I, I, I actually play mm -hmm. um, is that um, is that you can actually fight against the Magna Guards and apparently these Magna Guards are fucking OP. I haven't fought against them yet, but I know they're fucking overpowered. Mm -hmm. And especially the uh, Geonosian elites, which is those big flying things with the big ladies. You'll see on me in the footage. I've seen the Iron Cannon. The Iron. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The giant boob <laughs> nipple gun. <laughs> I was gonna pick it up. I don't know how to draw this. How do I draw Morty from Rick and Morty? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay, well. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. You're serious. It was literally really. <laughs> It was only a minute ago! You have got to be frigging joking!
Why? Right now. Why? What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god, is that actually throwing it down? Oh me god. T-minus 15 seconds.
Look at that. Wow. Look at that. Wow, look at that. They don't uh, abort. Some seconds, we're going to have three major milestones. We'll have shutdown of the nine Merlin engines. We're beginning to throttle them down. We will then get stage Stay separation. And then we will get ignition of the second stage engine to propel Dragon and the Falcon 9 second stage into orbit. Congratulations, SpaceX. Ignition of the second stage. You see the green flash of that T10 fluid. The extent expansion nozzle on the second stage Merlin vacuum glowing that bright red that we'd like to see. Good performance on the second stage so far. And on the left side of your screen, we saw the uh, exhaust of the second stage engine streaming past the first stage as the grid fins are coming out. We also briefly had a view of the lights of Central Florida in the background. Currently, the first stage is continuing to coast up to Apogee. It's unpowered. It'll reach a peak height and then begin to descend back down toward the Earth's atmosphere where it will like three engines to slow down in preparation for what will be a landing burn on the drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. You can see the grid fins are deployed right now in the first stage. Pulsing. Trajectory nominal. With pulsing the thrusters. Copy, nominal trajectory. We hear a call out from the crew, nominal trajectory. So we're beginning to move the first stage into position so it can do the entry burn. minutes 15 seconds into today's flight second stage propelling our four astronauts up the eastern seaboard will continue to fire it's a six minute burn to deliver the astronauts into orbit we'll wait for a cue for a good orbital insertion after that meanwhile we will be hearing uh, check-ins on the vehicle's trajectory and performance as well as check-ins with some of the ground stations as it passes over uh, throughout uh, the six minutes of the second stage firing SpaceX 
good views of both the first and second stage from the onboard cameras. Wow. That wasn't a signal on the bus. <clears throat> the New Hampshire tracking station has acquired the second stage telemetry signal. Meanwhile, the first stage has reached apogee. It's now beginning to descend from uh, a height that's currently about 167 kilometers up. And wow. That's we will get the entry burn of the second stage, of the first stage. First stage just looks like it's in the ocean. It's amazing. Dragon SpaceX, structure nominal. Copy, nominal trajectory. Right on cue, those check ins on the second stage performance. Once a minute, everything's looking good on that second stage. Stage 2 continues to climb, the vehicle now exceeding 8,000 miles an hour at an altitude of about 124 miles. And just about one minute from now, we will begin the entry burn of the first stage. That will consist of lighting the center engine, and then shortly afterwards, two more engines for a three-engine burn to slow down the first stage in preparation for entering the Earth's atmosphere. Dragon SpaceX trajectory nominal. Copy nominal trajectory. Another check in and the crew confirming they're hearing the same thing. The vehicle exceeding are about to exceed about 10,000 miles per hour. That's pretty fast. Meanwhile, first stage down at 90 kilometers, getting ready. They'll relay three engines for the entry burn. Stage two FTS. Oh, here we go. We've got the center engine ignition and there come the two side engines. Now this entry burn will last about 29 seconds. It's going to significantly slow down the vehicle in preparation for hitting the denser part of the Earth's atmosphere. Entry burn complete. We're down below 35 kilometers. Continue oh, wow. Is that the Earth? First stage heading to the Atlantic Ocean for landing on the drone ship. Wow, look at that. While well, second stage is less than a minute away from cutoff. Here she goes. Stage two internal She's descending. Come on, big girl, keep going. Shannon. Copy, Shannon. Shannon called out at the back end of stage two. A few seconds until cutoff. Shut down. Bring in SpaceX launch escape system disarmed. Woo! Launch escape system disarmed. Copy. Fantastic. Congratulations, SpaceX. Oh, it's landed. Woo! So the first stage is on the drone ship, successfully landed. And more importantly, second stage is in a nominal orbit with the Dragon spacecraft getting ready for some important events coming up, Gary. 
That's right. About two more minutes, the Dragon and the second stage of the Falcon 9 will be in a coast phase. It'll take that long until the spacecraft separates from the Falcon 9. Of course, both uh, now in a nominal orbit. It's great to see some of the views of the Earth as it passes by over the North Atlantic Ocean. We're getting shots of the crew in orbit, looking uh, for that zero-G indicator. Can't seem to see it in this shot, but we have a minute to go until we have uh, spacecraft separation. Dragon traveling at nearly 17,000 miles per hour and an altitude of 124 miles. four-person crew of Endeavour is in orbit right now. Less than 30 seconds until we have spacecraft separation. Ten seconds to spacecraft separation. We should hear words from the core here in uh, Mishikachol Hawthorne once we have successful separation. Absolutely stunning views from both inside the cabin, seeing the excitement of our four-person crew inside Endeavour, and watching Endeavour drift away from the camera on the second stage as the Earth passes by on an orbital sunrise. Space Endeavour, are we? And Endeavour, you uh, cut out a little bit there. If the question was uh, if you're go to open visors, you are go to open visors at this time. Copy and work, thanks. All right, 13 and a half minutes past liftoff. The crew is in orbit, traveling at nearly 17,000 miles an hour. Well, Gary, I don't know about you, but uh, that was a great countdown. <laughs> Everything sounded great. Right on time, okay. actually a little ahead of time. Multi-humidifier activation and service section Draco checkouts. Got a good orbit out of Falcon 9, and first stage landed on the, the drone ship, and we're in the sunlight over the Atlantic Ocean with the Dragon spacecraft. All in all, a great day. I think everybody's jealous of the crew in orbit right now, John. Uh, these views, even just from the cameras, are absolutely stunning. It was great to see our crew members uh, get into orbit. They already performed successful checkouts of the 12 service section Dracos around Dragon. The next uh, milestone will be the deployment of the nose cone. That will be about a five-minute process, but that will expose the forward bulkhead Dracos and prepare them uh, for checkout. There's a phase burn. There's five major burns that are needed to get the crew Dragon up to rendezvous with the International Space Station over the next 23 hours. So that first phase burn is coming up real soon, in about uh, 35 minutes, actually less than 35 minutes.
Jesse, I don't know if you can see the zero G indicator, but I was told it's a penguin. I'm trying to look for it. I'm looking for it too. I am at left hand screen. Meanwhile, the uh, dragon is configured for, for a nose cone deployment. Stand by for uh, when that sequence starts. The nose cone itself opens uh, just beyond 90 degrees, about 105 degrees, to expose the forward uh, bulkhead Dracos. Those forward bulkhead Dracos, four of them at the very top of the dragon, will do the bulk of the work when it comes to firing the Draco engines for minutes at a time to increase the uh, Dragon speed, altitude, and phasing to catch up with the International Space Station again over the next 23 hours. Meanwhile, we're still getting camera views from the second stage, looking at that expansion nozzle. Did its work beautifully to deliver the four crew into orbit. Dragon over the North Atlantic Ocean. Really? Really? It's doing the same behavior like it did yesterday. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm about to do, do their cleaning today. Yeah! Looks so much better already. Just do we need a little uh, bit of moving around. Cleaning up as well. I mean, you can tell that they've been around already. <laughs> Bless him. I've never seen him this excited for a while. At least he's um, he's foraging on the floor, and Athena's doing the same. At least they're doing something. Hey, Athena. Well, that's gonna happen, isn't it? Goddamn sodding rain. At least I'll be in here for a bit, sorting myself out. It's getting so goddamn dark. Oh my god. It just shows that we're in a storm, alright. That's how dark it is. It may look bright over here, but if I turn this light off, that's how dark it's got. <laughs> oh my god. That is just throwing it down out there. Oh my word, that's, that's mad. And, uh, oh yeah, that'd be beautiful. Yeah, so, <laughs> bit crazy, right? Crazy. Here we go, it's coming, it's coming. The rain's coming back. Bumblebee. I couldn't speak there. That's a little bumblebee. Oh, <laughs> bless her. She was sat right there. She must have detected me. <laughs> oh, bless her. Oh, it just, that just shows how harsh the atmosphere is at the moment. <laughs> oh, it makes me feel sad watching her doing that. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> that's how that's how dark it's got. Oh yeah, it's raining over there. But yeah. Uh, oh my god, this is insane. That's insane. I know I keep saying it, but you know what? Fuck it. Hey Artemis, you doing all right? You doing all right, buddy? <laughs> Hello. <laughs>
<laughs> Hello. Well, not that long ago, all of this was just bringing it down. Oh my word. That is one violent cloud. Wow. That cloud looks very... It just looks very puffed up. That's how you know it's a storm cloud. God damn it. Why does this have to look... Sunny all of a sudden. It's doing the same behavior like it did yesterday. <laughs> God damn it. And there we have it. New home. New area. And that's just dropped. <sighs> that's the air filter. That's just dropped. Damn it. <laughs> uh, you haven't seen that before. Let's see what they uh, they think of it. I don't know why that's just <laughs> sl just slowly fell off. Uh, it's annoying. Yeah. Now let's see. Hey, hey, hey! You know what? I don't know. Well, let's just hope that uh, stays there. Hello. Hello. Is that the sound of the army? I done got the hook. You know what? You two disturb it. I haven't fed you today. It's done it again, isn't it? Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Look at it! It's there! It's lost stick as well. Because it gets too hot. Oh, you're kidding me. I'll have to work that out as I go along. Oh, <laughs> hello. You all right? How's your new location? Yay! They're enjoying it. That's good. Yes, bitch, we have for 20 minutes. Aww. Let's get some food in, yeah. Oh yeah, if you're wondering what's going on, uh, it's just my video in the background uh, that I'm watching. Here's um, the sacks for um, when I was trying to clean the gravel out. So let's get this on. Come on, Tomas. Nina. Come here! Come here! Come here! One second, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, you. 
There you go. I'll have it in their own time. I'll have it in their own time. It's a bit weird. It's a bit wonky that. Hmm. Or in the cable. I gave you food. Look. There you go. You see it? Go on. Hey. See, I told you. That's what I was trying to get your attention for. It's okay. <laughs> you got scared. Oh, bless you both. Well done. Oh, you have a little popcorn. <laughs> He's a little popcorn. Oh. <laughs> He's on a nice little popcorn. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. I've never seen him having popcorn before. That's never happened in front of me before. Oh, sorry, Artemis. <laughs> I've just noticed some grub on the glass. I'm just giving it a bit of a quick clean. Here we go. That's better. Go on, continue. <laughs> Oh, bless. Oh. There we go. That's better. <laughs> oh. Well done, you two. <laughs> well done. He deserved it. Yep, so that's new. Um, put that in recently. As, um, I think I said in the last clip. But, uh, yeah. They're loving their new home and surroundings. It looks so much better than it was because the last one it just looked a little bit too close. Um, I thought I'd give them a little area over here so it just looks like so much better um, for them. So it gives them a bit more room when they're feasting. So that's where you can see. And um, giving them a bit more room on the other side too. But I thought I'd give them a little uh, sensory room. So like if they do want to go in they'll be able to. And um, yeah, I can't wait to, I actually can't wait to actually see them actually get, going inside then, having a little investigation. <laughs> I'm having a nice little um, search at the minute. I've never seen Artemis have so much popcorn in his life. I've never seen him do that before. That's really sweet. That's cute. That is extremely cute. Oh, bless him. Oh. <sighs> Just doesn't want to stop today.